Two years ago, I could barely run three miles. My first run in 2020, training for my marathon, took me 35 minutes and I had to stop twice. And uh, to think I've in two years, I went from that to being able to run 30 miles with a ton of gas in the tank, it was wild. I really wouldn't, I didn't even know that it was even possible two years ago. Friday. We're starting the vlog here just a little bit late, uh, but it's an exciting one. This week, today, tomorrow, and Sunday marks the peak weekend of my 50 mile training block. This is it. We've reached the peak where today I got a three mile, tomorrow 30, and then Sunday we got a 10 mile shakedown. So 43 miles in the next three days. By far and away the most amount of miles I've ran in three days in my entire life. And I'm extremely one, nervous, but two, really excited because that means the race, the 50 mile race that I've been training for over the last, well, since February is three weeks away. I mean, we're here, which is phenomenal. On top of that, we got a lot of other stuff planned with friends and family throughout the weekend too. So hopefully I have some energy after tomorrow. We should be good, but I'm gonna go crank out this three mile run and then I will see you guys after the fact. Let's rock and roll. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. A lot, I sell every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch Nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch And you can go and obtain Anything you want, anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient It's belief uh, Better see with the negativity But I just slide like right Three easy miles down, time for some yard work, some rest, some hydration, get some food in my belly. Let me kick start tomorrow, eight, tomorrow at four in the morning, getting ready to run 30 freaking miles. Good morning and happy Saturday. Today's the day, 30 miles. It is 4.15 in the morning. I'm talking very quietly because I have my my wife, my nephew, and uh, one of our guests sleeping upstairs right now. So I'm not trying to wake them up right now. I'm gonna try to get some food and some coffee and some stretching and some hydration and before I go. What I've found is like if I can try to wake up at least two hours before I take off, it gives me enough time to like eat, drink some water, stretch, digest it, get a bowel movement, before I go. And that way I'm the most comfortable when I take off. So I couldn't be more nervous. I couldn't be more excited about this run. Depending on how this goes, this will dictate to me how this 50 miles is gonna go. All of this training and all this preparation is gonna lead to this, to me. If this 30 miles goes pretty smooth and easy, then I know the 50 miler is gonna be doable. We'll see. So I'm gonna go eat and we will see you guys when I get back.
and just like that 30 miles in the bag five hours 10 9 pace uh, the first 27 miles were easy breezy luck I got very lucky today the Sun was mostly covered with clouds it's about like 65 70 degrees out I mean just perfect couldn't have asked for perfect conditions uh, from a training standpoint probably would have been better uh, trained in some Sun knowing that the 50 mile race is gonna be probably in some heat but nonetheless it was a relatively easy 30 miles I'm very happy with the time that I got especially with all the hills my quads cramped up a little bit so got to make sure that I use a little bit more carbohydrate based powders in my water and do that a little bit more frequently but other than that that felt fantastic I'm ready for a protein shake and an ice bath and then I'll have to do some fun activities with the with the nephew Right, real quickly the afternoon has quickly come and go and now the fun begins we're gonna go out to dinner here my wife myself and her nephew we're gonna take him to the cheesecake factory of all places and then uh, his favorite place in the world which is Dave and Buster's so we're gonna grab some grub we're gonna have some dinner with him it'll be a good night I wanted to hop on here real quickly before we go just recapping this morning you know this was the longest run by far that I've ever had 30 miles and I was thinking about this just like where I was two years ago. Two years ago, I could barely run three miles. My first run in 2020, training for my marathon, took me 35 minutes and I had to stop twice. Completely brutal. And uh, to think I've in two years, I went from that to being able to run 30 miles with a ton of gas in the tank, and obviously gonna be able to complete a 50 miler here in three weeks, is, um, is wild. I really wouldn't, I didn't even know that it was even possible two years ago. And so the thought that I had here was just that I think like most things are possible, right? I don't think I'll ever be, I can't, I'm a shorter guy, so I'm never going to be LeBron James, but I think so many of us limit ourselves on what's possible for us. And realistically, any goal is really achievable if you create an action plan and break it down to almost like a daily doable. And all you have to do is check the box and stay consistent. So, so what I was thinking about is through action and consistency, most things in life are achievable. And it's either one of the two or both that gets a lot of us in trouble. So that was just a real quick I want to think about was just that if there's a goal that you have, if there's a, if there's a dream that you've been wanting to conquer but you haven't taken action yet or you're inconsistent in that, it's, it's very simple. Those two things where if an average guy like me who does not have a whole ton of like running background in two, two quick years can go from off the couch to being able to complete his first ultra here. Um, I think a lot of things are also possible. So that's that. Time for a little bit of more fun. We'll see you guys soon.